the spring break, I'm going to be working. I'm going to finish my video game project. I'll be studying for the SAT. Okay, I'm going to be practicing some baseball and getting some work done. This spring break, I'm going to go to a concert in Chicago. I'm going to play volleyball with my friends. This spring break, we're going out to Memphis, Tennessee with the baseball team. Going to go 7-0, and get some victories. I'm going to San Francisco to see my cousin for his first birthday. I need to catch up on my art projects. I'm going to be going on college visits. Over spring break, I'm going to be at musical rehearsal. I'm going to go road tripping with my friends. My plan for spring break is to play with my new puppy. This spring break, I'm going to be making the trickiest test for my 8 feet class. <laughs> Good morning, Mandalayan High School. I am Leandro Campo. And I am Jackson Wasellick, coming to you from the Media Class TV studio. Welcome to today's Friday Focus for Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Oh, in the video, you mentioned something about painting over break. Yep. Is that for a personal project or is it for a class? It's for my AP art portfolio. You're doing homework over break? Yep, I can't seem to catch a break. Juniors and seniors, tickets for prom will be on sale from April 8th until April 18th. If you are planning on bringing a guest to prom, please be sure to pick up a purple guest form from the dean's office before leaving for spring break. This will give you and your date plenty of time to get the signatures and approval you need for them to attend. Are you a senior? Do you need money for college? Do you want to be a teacher? Visit the CCRC to apply for the Diversity in Education and or the Joseph P. Arrigo Teacher Education Scholarships, guaranteed to go to MHS students. Last night, the academic team challenged staff members to a fun match for their final event of the year. Mr. Dame, Mr. Hitzler, Mrs. Plaza, Mrs. Lawrence, Mrs. During, and Mrs. Babowitz all accepted the challenge. There were questions on literature, math, history, science, the arts, and sports. While it was a very close match, the students ended up victorious. Congratulations to all who participated. The academic team would like to thank the staff members for competing with them for their last night together. As for the varsity academic team overall season, they ended up tied for third place in their conference. They also advanced at the regional state meet two weeks ago and missed the finals by just one question. The academic team had a great year with tremendous help from co-captains Ryan Bugaring and Aaron Forbes. Congratulations to all. Well, with spring break upon us, it definitely doesn't feel much like spring. So we thought we'd bring in our meteorologist, Luke Belito, back in to find out if the weather will improve for us for spring break. Come on, Luke. Please tell us some good news. Unfortunately, it does not get better this weekend. Hi, I'm Luke Belito, and yes, we are in spring break, but it doesn't look like it, and it sure does not feel like it. As we can see, during the morning it was a bit snowy, and it'll go off and on during the day with a high of 40 and then on the weekends we see um, still very chilly Saturday a little bit of sunlight but on Sunday it does not it does not get any better but for those who are traveling especially to Florida Hannah John has sacrificed going to class and is now in Fort Lauderdale for a live report Hannah please tell me it does get better where you're at right now yes indeed it's really nice over here hi I'm Hannah John in Fort Lauderdale broadcasting to y'all live and right now it's around 75 degrees, but in the upcoming week it's going to be around 79, mostly sunny, a little cloudy sometimes. But for any of you guys who are coming down here for spring break, it seems like great weather to be here. Back to you all in the studio. Thanks, Anna, from the report from Florida. If you are lucky enough to travel there, it sure does look beautiful. But for those people stuck in Mundelein, it does not get much better. Um, as you can see, the weather teases us throughout the week on Monday. Uh, 60 degrees but coupled with a chance of rain throughout the week those chances stay with us with the exception of Wednesday and Thursday but those chilly temperatures still stay with us so expect to be inside for most of the week I know I'll be watching March Madness on my couch and I'm sure everyone else will be able to find something to do as well um, enjoy your week off I'm Luke Belito back to you Leandro and Jackson thanks Luke I wish the news was a little bit better well, this is all for this week's edition for Friday Focus. I'm Jackson. And I'm Leandro. Have a great spring break, everybody.